This episode is sponsored by LadyFootLocker.com. You have a lot going on. Work, school, friends, kids, cocktail parties. Go prepared and look good while you're doing it. Head to EverydayDriggers.tv slash Lady to save 10% off orders $50 or more at LadyFootLocker.com. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. Today, we're going to create the O Rumentine recipe. This was submitted by Alista2 on YouTube. All right, I'm done being calm. This recipe has three awesome things. Four, but three alcoholic awesome things. We've got coconut rum. What makes it awesome? This is my homemade coconut rum. Yes, I know I haven't put the video out for how to make it yet. Actually, I got to go figure it out again, um, but I will. It's going to happen in the summertime. That's doing yeah, it in the winter time. Coming up. Yeah. Summertime's a good time to, to, to sit out there and do that. I want to make a strawberry one too or something. Strawberry rum? Yeah, something. I just want to do something else. This is so good. People liked it. I was pretty ex- excited. Everybody who's had this has thought this was the best thing on earth. <laughs> it's pretty good. I'm happy about that. Bottle it. Yeah. I know, huh? Uh, Making experience in my basement. <laughs> Slightly uh, illegal. I'll end up in China for doing something like that. <laughs> <laughs> meth lab. Yeah. Oh, it's not it's not as bad as a meth lab is up there. Anyway, dark rum, gold rum, coconut rum. We don't get to use gold rum very much, but I'm using it because this recipe calls for it. Uh, we're using Gosling's gold Bermuda rum, but we're not done there. Gosling's black or dark rum. Ooh, this is not the right one. Oh gosh. Hold on a minute. This is uh Oops. This is product confusion. 151. 150. Here we go. Oh, they look the same. That's the problem. Big difference. 151 proof, 80 proof. We'll go with the 80 proof. Because you're almost out of. Here we are. You need to get a handle on stuff. Okay, now we're good to go. Top it with root beer, done. We're gonna put it in a low ball glass, but you know what I wanna do first? I wanna get this up to temp. You really say up. It should be down. Down to temp, because up sounds right to me. Obviously I'm wrong. We're gonna do an, what's this one, coconut? We're gonna do an ounce and a half of coconut rum. They're not all equal portions, so it does matter. All right, an ounce and, maybe next time I'm gonna make two of these, that way I can give one away, or something. Like to, uh, To a lucky winner? No, I was thinking to uh, Don and Michelle, but, <laughs> it's a lucky winner. No, I'm not shipping alcohol to people. <laughs> That's a bad idea. Uh, an ounce of dark Gift. rum, it, yes. Not, they didn't sell it. Look, I still haven't shipped everything I'm supposed to ship to people yet. <clears throat> We've got... Still more to ship. I thought you brought everything out. I did bring it all out. Just haven't shipped it. No. I mean, <laughs> brought it all to the post office. Oh, no. I have another round of stuff to still put in there. Huh? Then we had the whole catastrophe thing and got kind of distracted. Um, and it was already something hard for me to do to begin with, so... Obviously. Didn't need distractions. So you get an ounce of dark rum. The other two are ounces and a half. So the dark rum is probably a little less because it, it's going to be a little sweeter. Maybe it has something to do with color. I don't know. Maybe they just thought it tastes better that way. Stir it a little bit. So the reason I'm stirring it here and not in here is because this water is going to dilute just enough the way I want it to be, but I don't want, when you're presenting somebody with a new drink, you want to have nice fresh ice so it lasts longer. Although I say that all the time, we get new viewers and they're like, why do you shake ice and don't use that ice again, or stir with ice and then strain? Record the video and... It doesn't mark. matter. No, no, no. It can just send it to them every time? And get the mark of when you say it. I could do that. No, no, I could just record one video just how, why I do that. And then whenever they ask, send the video link to them. Could do it that way. That's too. what I thought you were going to say. You could just make the mark in the video where, where you said it. This video, this time signature. That is your answer. Massachusetts That's too hard to do the time signature. I just made this with my uh, soda stream. Root beer. Oh, yeah. Top it with root beer. Sweet. A little stir. 
No garnish for this guy. Oh, Rumentine. How boring art thou presentation. Kind of looks like a very dark, supernatural... No, that's actually a ghostly thing. Um, like a cider a, or maybe oh, a looks weird. iced tea. Really, really dark okay. iced tea. No real scent to it. Wow. Not even a root beer. You just poured it on top. It's got some root beer flavor. Almost a cola. There's a little bit of sweetness to it in the root beer, but oddly enough, I would be slightly confused on whether this was spiced rum and root beer or all these other ingredients. It's got so many little um, detailed flavors. Nuances. Nu nuances. Quit <laughs> pointing at me. <laughs> Yeah, you, you can just sit out there and stare into the space trying to figure out what's in here. Yeah, a little sit bit of coconut. where? Anywhere. <laughs> okay. S stoop. Porch. Patio. Cinder block. <laughs> Cinder block out near the side of the road. I don't know. I don't care where you sit or stare or ponder. You will ponder this for a while. It's got... I could get some of that sweet, dark, like... um cinnamon or not cinnamon brown sugar flavor but not in the first taste as you start to adapt some of the flavors you start to pick a little bit more out and you definitely have to be a rum rum drinker because there's no doubt you're going to get that i mean regardless of coconut or dark dark gold whatever you're always there's that rum flavor that kind of is the, the embodiment of that spirit you're going to get that in this especially with three different ones combined and we'll be Tasty for a soda drink. If you're into drinks that have topped with soda, carbonation, light, fluffy taste, there you go. That's oh, rum and time. Rum fans rejoice. It's time for a crap load of rum. EverydayDrinkers.tv, we're teaching you how to drink.